In the previous video, we looked at uh, how to solve the area problem, which is how do you find the area under a function where the function is not, um, you know, where there's no simple way to find out what the area is under, say, the curve of a function. And the, the way to do that is to create what's called a Riemann sum, uh, Riemann being a mathematician of the 1800s, where you, you divide the space under that curve into a certain number of rectangles. And of course, if you, if you take, say, an interval under the function f of x, and you divide that interval into smaller and smaller segments, delta x's, then each rectangle, as that delta x gets smaller and smaller, as the number that is that you're dividing that interval into gets bigger and bigger, as n approaches infinity and delta x approaches zero, then the, the, the sum of the areas of, of those rectangles approaches the area under the curve, under the f of x, whatever it is. f of x is the y, delta x is the x. And of course the area of a rectangle is x times y, the base times the height. And so as n approaches infinity, as delta x approaches zero, um, the sum of all those little rectangles approximates the area under the function over that interval. Well, there's another way to write that, and that is using the, the Leib Leibniz's uh, integral, integral um, uh, notation. Leibniz, of course, being one of the inventors of the calculus in the 1600s. And we, we can read this as the integral from a to b of f of x dx. And that basically means the same thing as the, the limit, uh, the sum of the um, f of x delta x's uh, as n approaches infinity uh, as you divide the space under a function. Th th those are the same, saying the same thing. Now there are a number of properties of integrals, basic properties, just as there were some basic properties of derivatives uh, back in chapter 3, and uh, as we'll see in the next section of, of, uh, of the James Strong's uh, calculus, um, the, the, to differentiate and to integrate their opposite um, activities. Um, derivative moves in one direction, uh, the integral works in the other direction. But they are to, to, they are basically two sides of the same coin. You might even call an integral uh, an antiderivative. But there's some basic properties for integrals. So for example, if you take the definite integral, and there, there is an indefinite integral, we'll see later in the chapter. If you take the definite integral uh, from a to b, that is over a certain interval of a function, uh, of a constant, say you know y equals two, that sort of a an equation, uh, then the the integral is simply going to be uh, the difference between where you start and end that interval b minus a times the um, the constant. You know because if it, uh, this is very very obvious, uh, for example, if you have y equals two. Uh, that's just going to be, a, the graph is simply going to be a, a, a horizontal line that goes through y, y equals 2 on the y-axis. And so if you, if, you create, if you want to find the area of, a, of an interval of that y equals 2, uh, then you're basically finding the, um, the area of a rectangle where um, the constant, 2, is the height and the inter interval, b minus a, is the, the width so that's that's pretty straightforward. Here's one that's also straightforward. If you're taking the definite integral from a to b of a constant times a function, that's going to be the same as uh, multiplying the constant times the integral of the function itself. Uh, so the the integral from a to b of a constant times f of x dx is the same as the constant times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. Again, this is fa fairly straightforward and very much like uh, the rules that we saw with derivatives back in chapter uh, 3. Here's, a, here's another one. If you take the definite integral from a to b of one function plus another, that's the same as taking the definite integral from a to b of the first function plus the definite integral from a to b of the second set, uh, function. And the same thing with, with uh, finding the difference of two functions. The integral from a to b of the difference of two functions is the same as the integral from a to b of the first function minus the integral from a to b 
of the second function. So those are some of the basic rules of, of uh, in integration uh, when it comes to definite integrals.